one of the most popular manga series of all time is Naruto, and some of the pairings that were introduced in the end of the series were quite controversial. And today I'd like to talk about why I think the relationship between Sakura Haruno and Sake Uchiha actually kind of works within the narrative and the themes of the series, and is actually really good in the sequels. Right off the bat, I'd like to address the big and major criticism with Sasu Saku, which is Sasuke's treatment of Sakura throughout the series. Now, there is no denying that he tried to hurt her. He attempted to murder her countless times and caused her an endless amount of emotional and physical pain. But, something I'd like to talk about is that this is something Sasuke didn't just do to Sakura. If this were something he did to Sakura specifically out of malice, then it would be a very different story. But as we know, and as the series really focuses on, Sakura was in a very dark place, and he was doing this to everybody. He also nearly murdered Kakashi and Naruto on the same number, if not more, occasions. He stabbed his teammate Karin through the heart and nearly killed her. If not for Sakura arriving in time to heal her, she would have died. He did this just so he could land an attack on the man known as Danza. Something I have noticed that people like to do when they're arguing against Dr. Saku is that they like to bring up that they have no problems with Naruto forgiving Sasuke and then being friends, but they have some sort of issue with Sakura and Sasuke being in a relationship. But I would like to point out that the whole theme of Naruto and the lesson Naruto is constantly preaching is forgiveness. Now, if you are of the opinion that Sake should have been punished for his crimes, that is fine. But to say it's okay that Naruto forgave Sake and he moved on and Sakura didn't is a little hypocritical in my opinion. Some people have argued that it is different, that both feelings and love Naruto for Sasuke is different than Sakura, which is true. Naruto doesn't want to marry Sasuke, they're just really, really good friends, they're family. But I would argue it's still love at the end of the day. Naruto and Sakura both love Sasuke probably equally. Naruto and Sakura both love Sasuke, but Sakura, of course, loves him romantically, and honestly, I don't see what's wrong with her forgiving him and continuing to love him when one of the core themes of Naruto is forgiveness. That's one of Naruto's big things that he's always preaching is forgiveness, and Sakura forgiving Sasuke does show proof that she did learn that lesson from Naruto, that she is willing to forgive Sakura, which is really good because it really also heightened the effect Naruto had on Sakura as a character, which goes along nicely with the idea that Naruto changes people. Because, if you remember, during the Land of Iron Arc, Sakura was ready to kill Sasuke. She had had enough and thought Sasuke had gone too far, but clearly something changed, and it is very clear if you look at the context that something with Naruto. Naruto convinced her that Sake could be saved, and she forgave him, which really fits with the overall themes of the series. And it's also important to note that Sake and Sakura don't just get together. It's not that they just start making out and being in love with one another. It takes quite a few years after the war for Sakura and Sake to enter a stable relationship because Sake acknowledges his issues and they both acknowledge they need time before they can do that. It is not until a few years after the war that Sakura and Naruto are able to convince Sake to return to the village and her and Sasuke end up engaging in a relationship. And Sasuke had grown as a person and had his own adventures and clearly learned his lessons as evident in Sasuke seeing them. And while I do think they do have issues with portraying the relationship in pre boruto continuity parts of the series, the stuff between them in Boruto is really fascinating because of the way Sakura's character had changed during the blank period. It is very interesting to see how Sarada being thrown into the picture changes the dynamic Sakura had with Sasuke. Because for years in the theory, it was always about Sakura choosing between Naruto and Sasuke in a situation very similar to Hagoromo. She loved Sasuke very much, but she also loved Naruto, and Naruto was right. 
There was never a point where she was like, well, maybe Sasuke had the point. She always agreed with Naruto, and she always knew she had to side with him. But she also loved Sasuke, which is the same situation Hagoromo was in. But in Boruto, that's not a conversation. Sakura clearly prioritizes Sarada above all else, which is very interesting. It's an interesting dynamic to see with Sakura and Sasuke, because Sasuke has never really had Sakura ignore him and place somebody above him so obviously before. When they reunite after not seeing each other for over a decade, and Naruto has a sword through his chest, Sakura does not acknowledge either of their existences. She immediately moves to check on Sarada and make sure she is okay, and placed in Sarada as her primary concern, and Sarada being thrown in there just creates a very different dynamic. Sakura also calls Sasuke out when talking to him about his relationship with Sarada and giving him advice on the matter. She calls him out on what he's doing wrong, and basically says, this is why you're screwing up. She's not rude about it, but she does put Sasuke down about it because she placed in Sarada's happiness and Sarada's image of Sasuke above her relationship with Sasuke. She does not care if what she said offends Sasuke slightly. What matters to her is helping Sasuke form a bond with Sarada that Sarada so desperately craves. The relationship in Boruto is fun, it's dynamic, it's different, it's interesting because we know where they started and it's very interesting to try to see Sake and Sakura, who had a really hard time during all of the Naruto series, grow and be a happy family with Sarada, who is a fan favorite amongst the fandom. Common complaint I do see is that Sakura getting over Sasuke would have helped her develop as a character, and that is something I do actually agree with. It would have benefited Sakura if she had moved on from Sasuke and found somebody else, or maybe even ended up alone just being a badass ninja. But that is not what happened, and her ending up with Sasuke does fit well enough into the themes of the series that I honestly don't have a problem with it. And it is why, despite not being what I shipped during the series run, seeing how it is executed now in Boruto makes me really appreciate it and think it was honestly pretty well done. It certainly is one of the better pairings in Boruto compared to say Naruhina, which we will be getting into my issues with in a future video. But at the end of the day, to look past all the bullshit from during the series, the way it was executed in the end really fits within the confines of what Naruto was trying to say. The message Naruto was trying to teach. Which is one of many, but one of them is forgiveness, among other things. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Tell me your thoughts on Satsu Saku in the comment section down below. Follow me on Twitter if you want to check out and talk to me there. And if you enjoy anime content, definitely subscribe to the channel. I cover quite a few different kinds of shows. And I also cover comic books if you're into that kind of thing. Or at least comic book movies, sometimes comic books themselves. But I cover a lot of different nerdy stuff if you like nerdy stuff. But guys, above all else, have a great day. It's Nerking 101, signing out.